In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to pair a new set of TPMS sensors that came pre-installed on a set of new four winter tires from Tire Rack. And these are going to be for my 2019 Subaru Legacy. To pair these TPMS sensors, I will be using the Autel Maxi TPMS TS508 device. I paid $280 for this TPMS device from Amazon. At first, that does sound like a lot of money, but given that I put on and take off my winter tires twice per year, in a few years, the device will essentially pay for itself. Okay, so I bought a new set of snow tires and rims from Tire Rack, so I just got them today. They were a complete set, and they come with the TPMS sensors embedded in them. So now, I have to somehow get the TPMS sensors to be recognized by the car. As you can see, the tire pressures are not registering on the car after I installed the tires. Okay, so I've got that Maxi TPMS TS508 by Autel. Okay, so let's turn this on right here. You see, it comes on right away. And I'm going to go to advanced mode. Then I'm going to select the car. So here's the key part is you're going to select position relearn. And you're going to use OBD relearn because we're using the OBD cable. Okay, so first it's asking me for the left front sensor. And so when I get to that sensor, I'm gonna press this little thing that looks like a Wi-Fi button to see if I could pick it up. So left front. Okay, so I picked it up. You see the pressure is at 36.8 PSI. Now it's asking me for the right front tire. back left. So here's a valve Put it right there. Okay, it looks like it's got all of them. Okay, so it says please connect OBD and turn ignition on. Okay, so now we've got to find the OBD2 port and you'll see that it's underneath this area here. It's that white thing right there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the uh, OBD2 cable plugged into the port. Let's see, look at the wire right here. So I've got the OBD connected down there and then to, to the car. Now I will drive the car outside so I could turn the ignition on. So I'm gonna turn the ignition on. And then I'm going to hit Y to continue. So Y is right here. So now it says communicating with the vehicle, please wait. Writing sensor to the ECU. So it says, write ID successful. Please proceed with the following steps until OBD relearn successful. Okay. Communicating with the vehicle, please wait. OBD relearn successful. Okay. Now it says, switch off, then switch on the ignition. Test drive above 19 miles per hour for at least 10 minutes. 
I drove around the neighborhood for a few minutes and the tire pressure is registered onto the screen on the car as you can see. Alright, well thanks for watching.